They're my binoculars. Well, hi there. My name is Perry and welcome to the Literary Niterary. So today I'm here to talk to you about finding bisexual books. We all know that it takes a bit of a conscious effort to find queer books and that even within LGBTQ plus literature, there is a lot of weight placed on the L and the G and you have to do a little bit more work to find rep in books for the BTQ plus. Especially outside of YA, you may find yourself adrift in a sea of vague blurbs. For fans of Sarah Waters, anyone? With no idea how to find the book that you actually want. So today I will be giving you seven places to go looking for specifically bisexual books. Many of these resources will also be great for finding other types of specific queer rep. So just a quick note, for the purposes of this video, I am basically using bisexual as an umbrella term to mean anything that is non-monosexual, just for convenience. Uh, if I have the information, I will tell you how each individual resource that I bring up defines bisexuality and therefore what kinds of books you can expect to find in these places. And if any of these places let you search specifically for pan representation, I will try to shout that out as well. But without any further ado, seven places to look for bisexual books. So obviously number one is Google, just Google it. Um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one pointing you to specific blog posts because I want this video to primarily focus on solutions that you cannot think of yourself within the first two seconds and also on resources that will be continuously updated so that you have evergreen access to bisexual books. So moving swiftly along, step two is also pretty obvious and it is to follow people who read, write, and or review queer books. Obviously bi erasure and biphobia are a real and present thing in the queer community, but there are plenty of queer book reviewers who do their very best to create inclusive and diverse rec lists. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this either because queer booktubers and queer book reviewers that I recommend could and really should be its own video, but I will leave a couple of YouTube videos that I have watched recently in the description for you. Step three is also super obvious and that is look on Goodreads. Um, obviously Goodreads is not a perfect resource because so much of it is based on how users tag and shelve their books and so it relies on a large group of people accurately identifying something and identifying it the same way. So a Goodreads list is never going to be perfect. That being said, it's such a large database that these lists can be a really useful place to start. There are two ways to find groups of bisexual books on the Goodreads website, the first of which is to use genres um, because genre tags are generated by how users shelve their books. So there are genre tags on Goodreads for things like bisexual, bisexual character, and bisexual romance. The other place you can find them is the list feature. If you search for bisexual in the list function on Goodreads, you come up with lists like bisexual YA, novels with bisexual protagonists, and books for bisexuals. Okay, here's where we get into the good stuff, the stuff that you might not think of immediately off of the top of your head. The fourth place to look for bisexual books is to check out awards. Now, awards are not always faithful metrics for the objective quality of a book, and they can be part of the publishing structure that sidelines marginalized voices. Just look at last year's Booker Prize for an example of why you shouldn't put implicit faith in every decision an awards organization makes. But with that said, lists of finalists and award winners can be a really useful place to start when you are looking for a specific kind of book or a book written by a specific kind of author. So you might not know, and I didn't know until recently, that the Lambda Literary Awards actually give their awards by category of representation, and one of those categories is bisexual. Every year the Lambda Literary Awards solicit works containing material of strong significance to the bi community in the categories of bi fiction, bi nonfiction, and bi poetry. Authors submit their own books and indie and self-published works are eligible. So on their website, you can filter their list of past winners and finalists by categories and click bisexual, and then you'll see all of the bisexual finalists and winners dating back to 2001. Obviously, there might also be some relevant content in other categories, so that is definitely something to go explore. Second of all, I wanted to mention the Bi Writers Association as a resource in general, but specifically the fact that the Bi Writers Association hosts the Bisexual Book Awards every year. They give awards in 11 categories, including things like fiction, nonfiction, poetry, mystery, romance, erotica, speculative fiction, you name it, searching for books that have bisexual, pansexual, or fluid characters or content. Books can be submitted by authors, publishers, or the Bi Writers Association themselves, and anyone in the community can suggest a book for them to consider on their website. Again, indie and self-published works are eligible for consideration. The Bisexual Book Awards actually announced their winners for this year just a few days ago, so that's really cool if you want to go check it out. Their list tends to be a mixture of things you might have heard of, as well as really obscure things that you probably haven't. On their website, they have a list of final lists and winners dating back to 2012, and they also have a list of all of the books that have been submitted to their awards dating back to 2014. So there's tons of bisexual books there. They also have a category for Publisher of the Year, which brings us to our next tip. 
Tip number five is to look at publishers. So I took a gander at the websites of a bunch of the LGBTQ plus focused indie publishers that I am aware of and found a few that let you filter books by representation and have a bisexual option. Those include Dreamspinner Press, Circlet Press, Nine Star Press, and Storm Moon Press, and I'm sure there are more. The sixth place to look is book blogs and databases, and this is where the real meat of the video is going to be. So first up, I wanted to shout out the blog Reads Rainbow, which is run by Charlotte and Anna, and currently has a post on it which is a huge collection of new releases from January to June of 2020 that they are at least 98% sure have a bi or pan protagonist. There's also an own voices designation for any books on this list that fall into that category, so that is a super helpful resource. Next up, I wanted to mention The Lesbrary, run by Danica Ellis, which is a lesbian and bi women book blog. This this allows you to filter by representation and then select either by representation or by authors and then you will see a bunch of posts with that tag. It's mostly book reviews but you can scroll through it really quick and treat it like a book list if you want to. <laughs> Then there is lgbtqreads.com, which is run by Dahlia Adler, and this site has a page for books sorted by romantic slash sexual orientation representation. So there is a bisexual section, but there is also a pansexual section, a queer section for main characters who ID as queer or who do not use a label at all but explicitly display attraction to multiple genders, and then there are bisexual and biromantic subheadings within the ace and aerospec sections on the page. Then there is YA Pride, which is currently run by Caitlin Mitchell and V. Signorelli. This has a section of LGBTQIA plus master lists, including a bisexual YA master list. So if you like YA, that could be a good resource for you to check out. Robin Ox, who is a bisexual educator and activist, has a bi fiction bibliography on her website. Uh, it is a little bit older. The most recent book seems to have been published in 2012. And perhaps because of that, she does make the disclaimer that very few of the narrators or characters in the books use the word bisexual to describe themselves, but she says that all of their life histories can be read as bisexual. So that's another resource for you if you're interested. Next up is the Queer SFF database created by Sarah Waits. On this one, you can filter your search by multisexual or within that bisexual or pansexual. And you can also filter your search by a bunch of other things like intersecting identities and the kind of romance you would like to see in the book. So it is a really useful tool. Hey, do you like comics? I don't, but if you do, you can go to the Queer Comics database created by Aiden Kwan and Lee Button, and there you can filter your search by a variety of terms, including checking bisexual or pansexual woman and or bisexual or pansexual man. And then the world is your oyster. Finally, in this category, I want to talk about the Bibliography, which is run by Carrie Price, and this is basically an attempt to catalog all of the books with non-monosexual representation that exist. There are over 1,600 books in this database, which I found overwhelming but in a very good way. Something else that I appreciate about this database apart from its size is that when you navigate onto the homepage there's a little box of random selections pulled from the database for you to consider which I think is a really good way to be introduced to a book you might not have otherwise ever seen. Finally the seventh place to look for bisexual books is to join or follow a book club. Even if you don't follow along with all of the reads or join the conversation following a book club will give you a monthly or bi-monthly or however frequently book recommendation on the theme of the club, right? So while researching for this video, I found a newish book club called the Bibliophiles Book Club, but it's like the Bibliophiles Book Club, like the first two letters are like highlighted, like you get it. Um, and it's run by four bisexual readers, RC, Val, Sarah, and Leah, all of whom will be linked in the description. The description of the club says that they are dedicated to reading underhyped and beloved queer books. There's also a group on Goodreads called the Bisexual Bookworms. I didn't join the group, so I don't know 100% of everything that goes on there, but it seems like they have a bi-monthly group read, by which I mean that they read a book together every other month, but I also mean that the book seems to be bisexual. So that is it for today. I really enjoyed the process of making this video. Uh, originally I had just intended to make another video like my last one where I compiled a list of recommendations, but then I wanted to talk about the Bi Writers Association and then that led me down this whole rabbit hole of looking for other places to find compilations of bisexual books and I got way too nerdy and into it. Uh, so I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. If you did, I hope you will consider subscribing and sticking around for queer content through the rest of June. If you have a favorite bisexual book or a favorite place to find queer book recommendations, I hope you will let me know about it in the comments down below. As usual, there will be links to petitions and other resources in the description down below, as well as links to every single thing I talked about in this video. So go check it out. There's a lot going on down there. Uh, and in the meantime, I hope that everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe and I hope that somewhere out there, there is a great book waiting just for you. Bye. Get it? Bye.